Hey everyone, I hope you had a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving holiday. Um, and I hope you got to spend some time with your family and you were able to give some thanks. So as many of you woke up yesterday morning, you were greeted with the bright white stuff. So, so snow like all other precipitation is found and formed in the clouds. So basically, how does it form? What happens is snow forms when tiny ice crystals form together in clouds and they stick together and that's what makes up the snowflakes. As the snowflakes become heavy enough, they begin to fall to the ground. And every time, depending on how the temperature is, so if it's wet and cold like it has been um, today and yesterday, then it forms um, bigger flakes because the flakes will then melt and stick together. But on some other drier days, Sometimes that snow doesn't exactly stick together, and it actually makes this more of a powdery snow. Um, so I want you guys to kind of get outside and see what you think um, and what has changed. So snow sticks to a lot of things. It sticks on top of cars, on top of branches, on leaves, as you can see behind me. And so I want you guys to kind of look and see what happens and how the snow changes it. So um, sometimes if you get really, really close to the flakes, you can actually see the tiny crystals. So I want you guys to do your best in doing that. Um, plus, this gives you a great time to get outside and play in the snow. Um, I understand some of us are not able to do that, and that's okay. You can um, observe snow from inside your house. So um, I hope you guys are able to get some sketches down and maybe some tallies and maybe even record temperatures and things like that um, and put it in your journals. Um, and I'll see you guys next week.